obviously there's we don't know what the what the announcement will be but based on what we understand the situation to be what might that announcement be well, I think at this point, there's a high possibility that um, Cafe may be uh, raising money basically through a rights offering. Um, given the situation right now, um, they are running out of cash. Uh, you know, the capacity, basically, most of their capacities are grounded, so they're not earning m money uh, as they used to. So, And fixed cost is still going out, so they would need money and most likely might be a cash raising that, that they're trying to do. The other sort of possibility um, is uh, maybe Air China uh, maybe upping their stake in CAFE. But at this point, I think in the market, um, there's a, a lot of speculation that it would be more of a rights offering than uh, anything else at this point. Let's just take a listen. We spoke to an analyst, Ivan Su, about the valuation for Cathay. Uh, Ivan saying that it is undervalued. Take a listen. You know, share price pressure. Um, but I think um, most of these issues will get resolved, uh, you know, in um, the set later part of 2020 or toward the earlier part of 2021. So that was Ivan Su from Morningstar. In terms of where Cathay is positioned now, what are the key challenges facing the airline, Kyunghee? Well, I mean, um, as you all know, COVID-19 is the biggest challenge that the aviation industry has faced, I think, in its whole history. Um, you know, um, more than 90 percent of capacity has been cut. Um, passengers, people, people basically aren't traveling. So even if they have flights, it's pretty much empty. So the biggest challenge is really how they sustain their cash level to uh, stay afloat and try to sort of um, ride uh, this challenging time. And obviously that, that means why we're seeing a lot of airlines coming out with uh, rights offerings and governments coming out with packages to help them ride this um, difficult times. I think the other challenge that, that Cathay faced um, and was facing before COVID-19 was the protests. And obviously that had a, a major impact on the airline's earnings uh, in the second half of last year. And we are seeing, seeing some um, protests, um, you know, reviving as some of the flights are being restored. So I think for Cathay, they have a double M at the moment with the COVID-19 and also the protests. And, and you know, that's going to be more challenging for Cathay than any other airlines in the world.